L'Oreal Men Expert Pure Power Moisturizer versus Bulldog Oil Control Moisturizer. This is Brand Battle. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Brand Battle, the series that puts two competing products head to head in the ultimate showdown. Now, this one is not here, yes. It's all about skincare and I wanted to do these products because I have been listening to you guys. I went to the community tab and I asked you what you thought about this and you want more, more variation and sort of changes. So we're gonna do a few more brand battles and this one is exactly that. This is about skincare. Now, this has got 20 points but obviously we are slightly different in this one and we know that not all categories are as important. You'll also notice it's actually more weighting towards ingredients in this one because it's going directly onto our skin. Now the first product we've got is L'Oreal Men Experts Pure Power Moisturizer. Now this is our active moisturizer that says anti-spot, says help fight spots, reduce excess oil, hydrates for 24 hours. Versus Bulldog Skincare for Men Oil Control Moisturizer. Really good product. So this will be an interesting battle. Now into ingredients, it's so important that we look at this because this is going directly on our skin. Uh, L'Oreal has active ingredients, a highly concentrated antibacterial salicylic acid, sebum absorbing zinc, and hydrating glycerin. In. versus Bulldog, they say uh, that the moisturizer does not contain artificial colors, synthetic fragrances, or ingredients from animal sources. They say they're 100% suitable for vegans and vegetarians uh, and certified cruelty free. And on here, actually, you can see on the packaging, they've got three things that they really pull out, which is witch hazel, willow bark, and juniper, which are great for absorbing excess oil and also for keeping the skin really clear. So, I mean, there's a brand which I think are just ahead of the game uh, when it comes to ingredients and really are pushing the boundaries in men's skincare. So, the five points for ingredients go to Bulldog. Now, into packaging. I, like both of them, I think I can sway slightly more towards Bulldog because it's slightly cleaner, but if we want to look more into the packaging, then L'Oreal say that the packaging and the bottle itself are all completely recyclable, but not yet made from recyclable material. Versus Bulldog, who have really been changing their packaging. You can see that actually on the back here. It says plastic from sugarcane, and I actually asked them about this. They said that at least 50% sugarcane plastic is used in this, and it's uh, from a renewable source grown responsibly in Brazil, requiring little more than natural rainfall to grow. So again, I just think they're ahead of the game here. The point for packaging goes to Bulldog. Now into smell, what you'll see is that the L'Oreal one, if you know any of the L'Oreal sort of products, I actually quite like the smell. They've got this sort of signature scent. It's light, it's quite creamy, and it's inoffensive. Versus the Bulldog one, which smells uh, more sort of herbaceous because you've got that juniper and also the witch hazel. It, it, it almost smells fresher. So, I mean, this will be up to you and what you prefer. But for me, the points for smell go to Bulldog. Now, into application. The L'Oreal product is really light and easily absorbed into the skin. It's got a slight stickiness to it, but it, it does absorb. Versus the Bulldog one, which although it looks creamier, actually feels like water on the skin. It's so easily absorbed and it's also less sticky. So the points for application go to Bulldog. Now into finish, I really want to see instantly how these products look on the skin. We obviously, as men with oily skin, I mean I do anyway, I want something which looks matte. I don't want any shine on the skin. I want to feel hydrated, but I want to look like there's nothing there. And both products do that but there's one which I think just looks slightly more matte. So the points for finish go to L'Oreal Men Expert. Now, this category of wear, I wanted to see how the products work by themselves throughout the day. You know, after a full day of work or whatever you're doing, how does your skin look and how does it feel? So this is what happened. Skin still looks good, mild shine to be expected. I think it's done well. Um, doesn't feel too tight, but I could do with putting a little bit more on. It's done okay. I've got like natural shine on my skin, but it's done well. My skin's felt hydrated and not overly shiny. Um, less shiny than if I had nothing on it. So really, they both performed really very well. The L'Oreal one, I found, stayed slightly more matte than the Bulldog one, but the Bulldog one gave more hydration throughout the day. 
So I'm gonna split the points slightly. I'm gonna give two points to Bulldog and three points to L'Oreal Men Expert. Now, into price, as I always say, it comes down to you and your portion packaging, your import taxes, and where you find this. But I have found the best prices and I've linked them in the description below. Now, the L'Oreal Men Expert product is 50 mils versus the Bulldog product, which is double it at 100 mils. And actually, they're both about the same cost. They're, they're both also quite often on offer, but the prices I find, they've both come out at about the six pound mark. But obviously, we've got double here, so price and value points go to Bulldog. And there we have it, our verdict. With seven points, we have L'Oreal Men Expert versus Bulldog's 13 points. And really, it is so well deserved. I love everything that Bulldog are doing at the moment. I think the amount of sort of work into research and looking at ingredients, the packaging, I just think is so great. And they're really setting the way for other male grooming companies. L'Oreal I love, and I love a lot of their products. I think this whole range of Pure Power is great. The Charcoal Face Wash is still one of my absolute favorites. And this product is also great. But when we're putting them up against each other, this is just, it's just coming out ahead. And um, I think, with what they're doing, being such a small company is, is just so impressive. So there you go. Keep the brand battle suggestions coming. We will be wrapping it up really very soon for this season. And then we'll look at kind of plans and how we're gonna do this. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, and you've not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just up there. So some more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to my blog, it's there. Uh, my Instagram, uh, on Instagram stories, I do lots of sort of first impressions of products. So if you like that sort of thing, come and follow me. Also my podcast. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.